my brothers and sisters, good evening. This is the evening prayer for Saturday, March 19th, 2022, the vigil of the third Sunday of Lent. And let us begin our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God is our help in our salvation. Let us give thanks and praise. Brothers and sisters, without the sign of God's unfailing love and power given to us in the cross of Jesus Christ, we would hardly dare to cry out from the depths of our exile and sin to the one who has promised to bring us, like the Israelites of old, into the land of new life, flowing with milk and honey. And let us pray. O oh God, you have rejected us and broken us. You have been angry. Come back to us. You have made the earthquake, torn it open, repair what is shattered for its ways. You have inflicted hardships on your people and made us a drink of wine that dazed us. You have given those who fear you a signal to flee from the enemy's bow. Oh, come and deliver your friends. Help with your right hand and reply. Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the book of Exodus. Say to the Israelites, I am the Lord. I will free you from the forced labor of the Egyptians and will deliver you from their slavery. I will rescue you by outstretched arm and with mighty acts of judgment. In the word of the Lord. And on this Saturday evening, brothers and sisters, let us say hello to our Mother Mary and let us recite the Canticle of Mary and let us pray. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud under conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With trust in God's promises, we dare to pray. Give us help against the foe. Give us help against the foe. From our exile, from our heavenly homeland, we cry. Give us help against the foe. From our enslavement to sin and death, we cry. Give us help against the foe. From our deepest need we cry, Give us help against the foe. And let us lift up to God our own personal intentions, gold from the silence of our hearts. Give us help against the foe. And let us pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us. And we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us as trespassers, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us now say goodbye and good night to our Mother Mary by praying the Marian Antiphon. Tonight's prayer, the Ave Regina Calorum, and let us pray. Hail, O Queen of Heaven enthroned, hail by angels mistress owned, root of Jesse, gate of morn, whence the world's true light was born, glorious virgin joy to thee, loveliest whom in heaven they see. Fairest thou, where all are fair, plead with Christ our souls to spare. May the Lord strengthen our hearts to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his holy ones. Amen. And let us end our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good night, brothers and sisters.